All right, big, big match for these two teams. I don't remember, let me check real quick. So Phantoms have only played two games and they're one-on-one. -on -one. So this is really a must win for them if they wanna to make to the playoffs. I mean, not technically. I think they could still win their last one and maybe make it, but there's a lot of math involved in that. This would be a big one for Phantoms to win. Olympians, they basically, they're in the playoffs. It doesn't matter if they win or lose this. If they win this though, they are gonna sweep the division and they are going to secure the number one seat. So pretty big matchup for both these teams. Phantoms would love to win it because it's less pressure for their last match. Olympians would love to secure a bye, I'm sure. Just know when you go immediately to the finals. Emergency subs for both teams. Just one on both sides though. Kazi gonna be emergency sub for Olympians on DPS. Chris coming in on support for Phantom. So thank you to those two. If we didn't have the emergency subsystem, we would have canceled both of our matches today. So glad we have that system. It's gonna be taking a big change next season though, just a heads up. All right, Phantom's gonna be starting out on defense. It'll be Olympians attacking first. We've been seeing Homic side a lot lately. Player for Olympians a while ago. Didn't see them at all, I think, season three, but looks like they're back for season four, which is cool. Not a whole lot happening so far. Phantom's just backing up. This is the first time we're seeing a Bix on tank. We did see them briefly on support in their last match. And now swapping over to the tank and gonna get a kill there. Sad gonna finish off Homic side, so looks like Phantoms are gonna stabilize for the first team fight. That wall really feeling the pain there, getting hit with that rock. See? <laughs> I'm just joking. Olympians are gonna get started on their second team fight. No alts online yet, but Phantom's getting closer. <laughs> Pumpkin Bread might have gotten a little lost, and Love gonna be happy to just drill some bullets into the Juno. Now, Love, this is a big pickup for Phantoms. Oops, bad timing. Um. They played in some Division 1 matches for Eclipse last season. Actually, I, my memory serves me right. They played in the Grand Finals for Division 1 last season, where Eclipse lost just 4-2. to two. So the fact that Phantoms was able to get them on a Division 2 team is a pretty big deal. So another story, Looney actually used to be on this Olympians team, won the championship with them. Looks like they wanted a change, and now they're on Phantoms. Love gonna get a double kill coming back from spawn and gonna force back the Olympians again. Here come the Phantoms. This is more the Phantoms I'm used to. They had a match against Misfits last week that it did not look like the Phantoms I'm used to. Misfits, of course, not a bad team at all. Chris, what are you doing? <laughs> Misfits, not a bad team at all, but Misfits made Phantoms look like they were in the wrong division. It was pretty crazy. What's up, Strawberry? Big anti from Chris. Not only gonna get Strobilon with it, but gonna lead to a lot of follow-up damage. Olympians just not able to make a mark here, but now they're getting some ultimates. Kazzy will have Blade. I bet they wish they had Chris with the nano there. So Olympians saving up these ultimates. They're gonna have four and be very close to five. Pumpkin Bread though, going down to love again. Love just having no mercy for the back line. Zag gonna use Bob for a double kill. They might full hold this. <laughs> What's with all the Liam hate, man? He's doing good. Taking up the pivotal tank role here and unrelenting in the face of a 3-0 Olympian scene. No mercy? No, it's not a reference to anything. <laughs> they are gonna grab a Bix, and here come the ults. Everybody in the lobby was saving him up. Looney being sliced and diced by Kazzy. Finally gonna be able to finish him off. Took quite a few slices without that nano. Love gonna get pumpkin bread though. Olympians finally getting some picks, but they are gonna still have to deal with Love. Pulse Bomb, luckily for them, not gonna land, but actually it is gonna get Kazzy who walks into it. They gotta finish off this Tracer. 
Amic side with the impossible task. Is Shobi Lone gonna go down to fire, actually? This isn't, this is not a one point by all means. And here come the reinforcements. Sad gonna get a double. And man, they are gonna stop them just short. Phantom seem to be putting things together after that last match. I know you're good for me. Score. <laughs> zero. Zero. Switching sides. I think Division 2 might be possibly the only division we're going to see where every team gets a win. I think it's very possible. Both of these teams, of course, have wins. Misfits have a win as well. Right now, Ragu and Polar do not. But I think both of those teams will finish their season with a win. This is a very close division. What do you guys think? Which division is the closest? It's got to be Division 2, right? Ragu's washed. Ragu is not washed. Ragu, in my opinion, Ragu has had the worst luck. They have played every team at their peak so far. And unfortunately, I think that's going to ha keep happening. Can't they get anything done without us? Legion are going to be taking down hunters. I'd love to see it. Legion also, man, like some of these teams just have rotten luck. They just face other teams when they're at their peak. Ragu is washed. I'm cleaning house. Uh oh, <laughs> I see head and champ were in the chat just moments ago. <laughs> Watch out, guys. I don't hate Legion. I would love to see Legion get a win. I'm just saying the schedule is not doing you any favors. You guys got Phoenix and Hunters left, right? We're gonna need to bring in some ringers to get that done. You need somebody with some uh, owl connections <laughs> to win that one. All right. Just, just the first point is all we're gonna need from the Phantoms. They're gonna lose Chris early though. Ian's gotta hold this with their life. And Love really the player to watch here. So many picks on the defensive side. They can get just a couple on offense. I mean, it really would take one convincing team fight to win the map. But so far, Olympian's doing a good job of stopping them. Kazzy gonna be off the Genji, gonna be on the Junkrat instead. Much more defensive comp for the Olympians. I'm paying off Hunters and Phoenix to throw. Honestly, it'd be pretty smart. But why? Because Legion's not gonna make the playoffs anyway. I don't think it's I don't think it's physically possible. I think the playoff teams are already set at the moment. And here it comes crashing down, all four squishies down for the Olympians. And once they cap the third tick here, Phantom's gonna be starting off. One to zero. Nice comeback for them from last match. And for the Olympians, the idea of sweeping the division is possibly slowly fizzing away as that was not super close. We'll see what they got in the tank though. Winner of the first raffle for this matchup is going to be Shay Nira. Congrats, Shay. Can't call the, the bot races today, can you? Like Samoa's in my top three. Blizzard World's my top one. one All right. You'll pay for all the crimes. A great start for Phantoms. You're less handsome when you talk. One more. Olympians might have I'll keep you safe. their chance to get the one seed spoiled here because think about it this way. If Phantoms win out, they do have a loss, right? They lost to Misfits. But if they beat Bowler and Olympians, they're going to get the one seed because they're going to have head to head against Olympians, which is our first tiebreaker. As a reminder, map differential is our second tiebreaker. Head to head is number one. Vic's gonna start things off, swapping over to the Reinhardt. They're gonna get Strobe alone with the Fire Strike there. 
and the DPS. Gonna jump in on that one. Looney gonna get Homicide. Pumpkin Bread goes down to Sad with a headshot. Phantom's gonna be able to snatch this one easily. But a Bix pulled in, and Stroby Lone and the gang not gonna have any mercy. Gonna finish off the tank quickly. But this Olympian's. I mean, this uh, Phantom's core of squishies is so cracked that I honestly think they could win this 4v5. Love working on Homicide in the back. Homicide getting a couple shots though, forcing out the recall, but there it is, you know. Love gonna get Homicide, Sad gonna get Kazzy. They don't even need a tank, to be honest, if we're being honest here. You know, Love, Sad, and Looney, having those three squishies on your team is brutal. I don't know if there's a single Division 2 team that could deal with that. And I know you're gonna, everyone's gonna say, well, look, like Misfits just lost to them. It was a different lineup. And it seems like it might be making a big difference. Pulse, I thought it was gonna be bigger than that. It was right in the middle of like a bunch of Olympians players. It's just gonna get Strophy loan. And now, things looking pretty brutal for Olympians. Already 50% gone, and here comes Looney's Orbital Ray, just to add insult to injury. They're not even able to get to the point, much less fight for it. Vic's getting low again, though. Wow, that was good focus fire on the D.Va. It might open a door here. Kazzy's gonna take the opportunity to get Chris. They gotta get a Vix while they're d already halfway back to mech. Pumpkin Bread gonna try and put them down. Dom with the final blow. They might be able to flip it here. Just dealing with love is such a problem. Pulse, luckily for them though, not gonna land and finally they will be able to get the Tracer. Olympian's gonna flip it at 89%. One more team fight though and they're done. Does Polar have a chance at the playoffs if Phantoms don't drop a map? I don't know the map, but Polar should have a chance at the playoffs. Someone wants to do the math, they totally could. Our first tiebreaker is head-to-head, -head, our second tiebreaker is math differential. I think if Polar wins, Polar needs to win out though. If they lose either of their next two, they're done. They need to win both matches, but it really, I don't even know if that's enough, to be honest with you. And I don't know what teams they're playing. Um, they're playing Ragu and Phantoms. Yikes, that is tough. That's also true, Connie. There's some phantoms that might have even been in this lineup. This could have been even bigger of a difference if those players were in there. And as we tick down here, phantoms are going to be knocking on the door of a positive record. Olympians, I mean, not a whole lot to worry about. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to be able to think about adjustments. They have a long time to think about it. But this might be a wake-up call for them. That even though they got those first three... Oh, <laughs> we saw that coming. I saw him stand and still. Lucy was like... We knew that was happening. Quick little break there. Man, DC's every scrim he does with us. I believe it. You know what? I mean, sometimes internet... It'd just be like that. Could be the end of round number one. Olympians using what ultimates they have. They are gonna get love and a Bix down though, so that should be enough to stabilize. Actually, hold on. I lied. I said if they lost the point again, it would be the end of the map, but actually Olympians gonna have one more shot at it. They're over 50%. I had bad internet for the longest time in my life, so I always feel really bad for people with bad internet. That's why as soon as I was paying my own internet bill, I was like, I don't care what it costs. I don't care if I'm paying like double what most people pay, just give me internet. And so I pay like $100 a month for my internet, which is way more than most people pay, but I'll tell you what, that thing is nuts. Internet so fast, I can treat my stream Steam library, you know, I can just uninstall and reinstall games. Man, it's crazy. Would recommend. Meanwhile, Phantom's gonna get a couple of kills and probably gonna finish off this first point. A great effort by Olympians. Getting it up to about 90%. But it, ooh, unfortunate place to be d -mecked. 
They do have a touch in Homicide. Trophy loan will get Chris, but a Bix with a big double kill is going to put an end to control point number one. I think Phantom says top 500 for each role if everyone shows, if everyone shows. That's, I mean, that's the hard part, though. But if you can, like, beg everybody, come playoff time, please show up. <laughs> really make sure that they get their schedules cleared and you can get the best five players you have on your team. I mean, all these teams could be different. Regular season, very different from playoff time, actually. You also got to, like, think about free agency. We do have a roster lock coming up real soon. So if you're not on a team you want to be on for the playoffs, I want to think about it now. We are so I will be defending. Execute them all. Support in battle. Watch yourself. I will ring the floor. All right. Last opportunity for Olympians showed a lot of life there, getting it to about 90. They have work to do with these phantoms. Sad still laying down pressure from the widow. It's so difficult to play Overwatch when there's a Widow just constantly taking shots at you. I always play with my friend and he always plays tank and I always just get so mad at him when he doesn't prioritize the Widow because literally if you're a support or a DPS you can't even play the same way that you normally play because the second you let your guard down your head's gone. Maybe higher ranked players you know they can focus on both those things at once but I can't man I'm, I'm diamond so Widow is tough. Lucky they do have a D.Va here, though, so the Widow might be in real trouble soon. A Vix in danger of being Kimek. Luckily, Sad is going to get Strobulon, though. Olympian's actually capping first. And Sad going on a little bit of a spree. Going to get three. Going to get four. Oh, let him get the ace. They never let him get the ace. <laughs> Gonna get an opening pick there. Pumpkin bread dangerously low. Luckily, Strobe had the immortality field ready to go. And Love with another double kill on the Tracer is gonna help them hold this one for now. A triple. I can smell a quad coming up. <laughs> Once again, gonna stagger the mini diva, but they just only now took the lead. Your diamond, I thought your peak was gold. Okay, all right, spicy fries. We can run the ones whenever you want, all right? My Baptiste is actually insane. I genuinely think, and I'm not just saying this. I genuinely think I might play Baptiste better than some of the GMs in this in this community. My Baptiste is so good. It's so good. It's probably not even possible to play it better, unironically. <laughs> Kazzy gonna whip out the blade, and it's gonna lead to a triple. So they are gonna flip it back. They're probably gonna have one more shot at holding this point. And that's Pulse Bomb gone. Ooh, but that's also Strobulum gone. So Olympians down both supports, and reinforcements are quickly approaching. Go. Spicy fries. I've answered that before. People don't. People don't believe me. I think if I really wanted to, if I really wanted to, and I'd have to give up a lot of my life to do it. If I really wanted to, I could hit GM5. Really, really wanted to. And I know a lot of people are gonna hate on that. Dom the double. Hold on, here come the Olympians. I mean, they have to play perfectly from now on. It's just I have too much in my life to properly prioritize something like that. You know what I'm saying?
spicy fries. I don't have the time. I haven't played Overwatch in weeks, man. Life's too busy. I'd rather work on SOL than get to GM. You know what I'm saying? It's more important to me. Possible fine time. God, I can't talk. Possible final team fight, and we have players down on both sides. Pumpkin Bread gonna be the next victim, and Olympians slowly falling one by one. They might have one more touch if they hurry, otherwise this match is over. I mean, still quite a bit of time. Kazzy is in position, ready to go. But Love, not gonna waste any time already harassing them. Oh no, they might not make it. Kazzy, barely, barely gonna get a touch. But now, falling back. Luckily, all of Olympians will be able to get here. Chris gonna get a double kill on the Mercy. What a way to end your regular season. Both Diva Bombs come out. And Love is just gonna pick up the pieces as they finish off here. GG's. I don't know, and I'm not even trying to like toot my own horn, Spicy Fries. I just, I have, luckily, I was gifted with a 200 millisecond reaction time, which is high, that's very good. You know, I'm passionate enough have a high IQ I could probably handle like the the meta and stuff like that I just don't have the time to grind it you know don't get me wrong I would never hit like champ or anything like that no way but I think it's possible I could hit GM I really wanted to